Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets coming back to you again with another video. I am Amanda and I am here to do my week two budget projection video. And I am in a new location. I am in my office today. So going forward, I may start to try and come down here and make it a little bit more homely, I guess I would say to myself, because I it's, it's typically cool down here because the office is in the basement, but I do need to move everything from upstairs or all over my home. So yeah, we're gonna see how this is going to work out, but this is where I am today. And this is one of the new chairs that I did purchase for the children for school this upcoming year and it rolls quite well on my wooden floor. So I'm loving that, but I am here to do my week two budget projection. And if you are interested in this sort of content, then I would like it for you to stick around for the remainder of this video. <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's get this budget started. As I stated, this is week two budget projection. Today is Friday, August the 14th. And my little tidbit of motivation or inspirational information for you today is to take some time out for yourself. You definitely need to do that, especially if you are a part of other organizations or other people's lives or However the case may be or however your case may go, you need to take some time out for yourself to do some things for you. I am doing that every day this month because it's my birthday month. And today's activity was my workout. I decided to go and walk three, three and a half miles around the mall parking lot. And that's what I did for me. Now let's dive right into this budget projection video first item we have for this upcoming week is the mortgage where i will set aside 291 dollars and 34 cents of course i'm gonna have to turn this tablet because i cannot write sideways i mean i'm um, straight up and down i have to turn it sideways okay the next item is the security for my alarm system, which is $25.94. Next is Netflix. We're projecting that to come out of this week's pay for $15.99. Next is the auto insurance, which is $102. Next is the student loan payment. For $96.75. Um, next is my daughter's car fund. Speaking of cars, I need to go and get all three of these vehicles emission tests done because this is my birthday month. So we're going to have to get that done. That will probably be in an upcoming video. Um, budget projection or budget recap video. Um, $20.50 goes toward her car fund. Next is the debt monies, which currently I am putting away into my mini emergency fund, and I continue to battle with that week after week. This week is $323.77. It's so what I will have to go toward debt, or like I said, put away into the mini emergency fund. Next is the children's savings account where I automatically send $28.50 over there. And last is the HOA fees in which I set aside $6.70 for that. All right. This gives me a total of 
$135 and um, 46 cents. Now, typically I leave $1,228 in this account per week to satisfy any expenses. This week, the total amount of $1,135.46 is lower than the $1,228, so we're going to subtract those two amounts. That is $1,135.46 subtracted from the $1,228. Let's get out the calculator for that. And 1228 minus 1135.46 gives me a total of 92.54 that's left over out of this amount. Now, remember, I also, or for those of you that may be new, I like to leave a cushion in this bill's checking account of $26.15. So I'm going to have to subtract that from the leftover total of $92.54. So we will subtract $26.15, which is considered the cushion that I like to leave in this account. So let's subtract that $26.15. So we're left with a total of $66.39. This is the amount that I need to put away into the bill's savings account because it is a leftover amount out of the $12.28. Okay, so just stick with me. I, it is my goal to try and get through this budget projection quickly this time. So I am hungry and ready to eat. So this is where we are right now. So we're going to put a technically beside that because we're only moving that amount around on paper right now. That is not going to be our ending amount that we need to put away into the checking account. Okay? So I mean savings account. So now next step we do. Remember we go back up through all of these expenses and put a PA beside the amounts we need to put away for this upcoming week, meaning we're not going to pay those debts this week. They will be paid later. That is your auto insurance does not get paid this week. Um, student loan hasn't been paid since like February because it's under um, deferment plan because of the CARES Act and the, and the virus. Um, they have stopped payments of, of interest and payments on the account, so I'm taking advantage of that. Uh, what else? And then also this homeowners association fee. It is not paid this week either. So they will get the famous pink circle. And I think that's it. So now at this particular time, we will take and add up these total amounts here. And let's see. Let's see what we get. The PA total. I have a number on my little cheat sheet, but it just doesn't look right, guys. So guess what? We're going to go back to the calculator to make sure. So that's 102 plus the 96.75 plus the 6. 70 that gives us a total of 205 let's make sure now mortgage is paid this week security is netflix is this comes out that debt amount goes somewhere else yeah so those that's what we have so 205 45 so at this particular time let's put our calculator away for now hopefully we won't have to go back to that now we have two amounts that need to be put away into the bill savings account. Right now we have the 205.45 plus the 66.39. Okay. That gives us a total of 301.84. So that is the total that needs to be put away in the bill's savings account technically. So we got a total amount here. All right, stick with me. Now, the 
fourth step is to go back through and put a purple triangle by all those items that we will be satisfying for this upcoming week. That will be the mortgage. That will be this security. Netflix will also come out this week. Of course, I send the money to my daughter's car fund. This money I'm just going to put MEF because it's going to the mini emergency fund. That's where I'm going to stick it for now. If I do something else with it, it probably will be paid toward my mortgage, but we'll see. I'll let you know in my budget recap what I did with that money. I'll be glad when I come to one kind of, of, of action that I'm going to do with this money and stop being wishy-washy. Um, and... Um, Oh, I know what I left off of this list. I just thought about it. It's already calculated. The total is right. The 1135.46 is right. But let me finish this first and then I'll go back and put that item on here. I overlooked it on my list of items. So here are all the items that are going to be taken care of this week. The last item, which is number 10, is my household expenses amount guys for 194 dollars i take that out in cash so we that's always an item that is taken care of every week so it can always get a purple triangle so that's what we have so now we're back on task now that we've done that these are the items that will be satisfied this week next is to since we have the mortgage in here i wish my mortgage was 291.34 but it's not so what we need to do at this particular time is see how much money we will need to pull out of the bill savings account to help us satisfy the mortgage. Now, the mortgage total is $874 per month. And that's what I will be paying this week. I only am satisfying $291.34 of that total mortgage amount this week out of this pay. So that means I need to subtract the actual amount from the amount I have set aside for this week, is, which is $291.34. Okay? And that is going to give me a total of five, let's see, five, eight, two, six, eight. Okay, I think that's right because I need to grab the other two 294s out of this account, pretty much. So basically, I will be pulling two more because I always set aside this amount for three weeks of the four weeks of the month. And that gives us that total of 874. So I know I will have to go back into the bills savings account to pull out this amount to help me satisfy the bills or the mortgage for this week. So now we got two actions, guys. Let's make sure we're still on task here at we're recording. We have a pull out amount that needs to come out of the bill savings account and we have a put away amount. So we need to subtract those two amounts. 582.68 minus the 301.84. So we got Two numbers with two different actions. One of them we need to pull out of this account. That's PO. And the other one we need to put away. So we need to put this amount away in the account. So at this particular time, if we subtract the 301.84 from the 582.68, that's going to give us a total of 280.84. All right. Now, this that's our answer, but our answer t always takes the action of the larger of the two numbers. The largest number is the amount that we need to pull out. So that's what's going to happen with our answer. This is the total amount that we need to pull out of the bill savings account to help us satisfy that mortgage for this upcoming week. So there you go, $280.84 will be pulled out of the bill savings account to help with bills and expenses for this week. Okay, there you have it, guys. This is all I have for this video. Please, please, please leave me a comment and let me know if you just understand my um, method or technique or not. 
Or if you're using your own method or te technique, let me know about that in the comment section below. Share this video and please like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel, guys. I am trying to grow this channel. I would love to have 500 um, subscribers at least by the end of the year. So please help me out with that. This is all I have for this video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.